snakes, radiation, volcanoes, and extreme heat. Welcome to the most dangerous places around the world. Number 10. Lake Natron. A salt lake called Lake Natron can be found in northern Tanzania, in East Africa, not far from the Kenyan border. The Uasungura River and mineral-rich hot springs feed the lake, which is located in the East African Rift Valley. With a pH of 10.5, the lake is well known for its distinctive bright red color and high alkalinity. The lake's high concentrations of sodium carbonate and other minerals are what cause its high alkalinity. The lake has a depth of about 3 meters, and a maximum temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. Despite its harsh conditions, Lake Natron supports a diverse range of life including algae, plankton, and some fish species. The lake is also an important breeding ground for lesser flamingos, which feed on the algae and brine shrimp that thrive in the lake's waters. Lake Natron is a famous tourist destination due to its natural beauty and biodiversity. However, due to the lake's fragile habitat and importance as a flamingo breeding place, access to specific areas of the lake is restricted. Number 9. Oinikan, Siberia. A remote village called Oinikan can be found in Russia's northeastern Siberia. With typical winter temperatures of around minus 50 degrees Celsius, it is regarded as one of the coldest inhabited places on Earth. Oinikan has a small population of 500 people who reside in traditional Russian-style homes, despite the freezing cold. Most villagers in the village rely on wells and outhouses, due to the absence of indoor plumbing or running water. Living and working in Oinikan is challenging due to the extreme weather conditions. To stay warm, residents need to take extra precautions like wearing layers of clothing, using special equipment to start vehicles in the cold, and covering their faces to avoid frostbite. Oinikan is well known for its breathtaking natural beauty despite its challenges. For most of the year, the area is covered in snow and ice, but in the summer, wildflowers bloom, and the nearby rivers and lakes provide opportunities for fishing and other outdoor activities. Number 8. The Skeleton Coast. The Skeleton Coast is a remote coastline in southwestern Africa that stretches across Namibia and Angola. It is known for its dangerous waters, strong currents, and thick fog, which have resulted in many shipwrecks over the centuries. The Skeleton Coast is named for the bones of whales and seals that can be found scattered along its beaches. These bones are remnants of the whaling industry that was once successful in the area. The harsh conditions of the coast, including strong winds and the lack of fresh water, contribute to an eerie and desolate atmosphere. The Skeleton Coast is a hazardous area, especially for those who are unprepared for its harsh conditions. The coastline experiences strong winds, dense fog, and rough seas, which can create challenging navigation conditions and pose a high risk of shipwrecks. The region is also inhabited by several predators, such as lions, hyenas, and leopards, which can be dangerous to visitors who are not cautious. In addition, the absence of potable water and extreme temperatures can make it challenging for those who get stuck or disoriented in the area to survive. To ensure safety while exploring the area on foot, it is important to be aware of the risks posed by wildlife. Take appropriate precautions such as avoiding hiking alone or at night, and keeping a safe distance from any animals encountered. Number 7. The Danakal Desert. The Danakal Desert, also known as the Afar Depression, is a desert region located in the northeastern part of Ethiopia, as well as Eritrea and Djibouti. It is one of the hottest, driest, and most inhospitable regions on Earth, with temperatures that can reach up to 50 degrees Celsius during the day. The Danakal Desert is known for its unique geological features, such as the Dawal Sulfur Springs, which are the hottest and most acidic springs in the world, and the Erdrael Volcano, which is a lava lake that has been continuously active since 1967. The region is also home to the salt flats of Lake Assel, which is one of the saltiest bodies of water in the world. The Afar and Issa peoples, as well as other indigenous groups, are noted for their rich cultural history in the Danakal Desert. Nonetheless, the area has a history of conflict and political unrest due to the presence of numerous rebel groups and militias. Number 6. Kawaijin Volcano. 
Kawa Ijen, an active volcano situated on the eastern side of Indonesia's Java Island, boasts the world's largest acidic crater lake. The volcano's crater is also renowned for its stunning blue flames that can be observed at night. These blue flames are the result of the combustion of sulfuric gases that seep through cracks in the crater's walls and react with the air. The same gases are responsible for the lake's bright yellow color, which has a pH of less than 1, and is highly acidic. Solid sulfur is also extracted from Kawaijin. Employees work under difficult and dangerous conditions to remove the sulfur from the crater floor and carry it out in baskets. The material is then processed and sold to various industries. Despite its beauty and economic significance, Kawa Ijen is a hazardous environment with toxic gases and unstable terrain. Visitors are advised to exercise caution and wear appropriate safety gear, such as helmets and gas masks. Number 5. Nika Crystal Cave. Some of the largest natural crystals ever found have been found in the Nica Crystal Cave, also known as the Cueva de las Cristales, a cave system in Nica, Mexico. Massive gypsum crystals that may grow to a length of 39 feet and a weight of 55 tons can be found in the cave's main chamber, which is about 1,000 feet deep. The crystals were formed over millions of years as mineral-rich water flowed through the cave and slowly evaporated, leaving behind deposits of gypsum. The extreme conditions inside the cave, with temperatures reaching up to 58 degrees Celsius and humidity levels close to 100%, allowed the crystals to grow to their enormous size. While attempting to extract lead and silver from the underground mine in 2000, miners made the initial discovery of the Nika Crystal Cave. Since that time, the cave has been the focus of scientific investigation and exploration, in addition to being a well-liked tourist and photo location. However, the cave is a fragile and dangerous environment, and access is strictly controlled to protect the crystals and ensure the safety of visitors. Special protective gear and breathing equipment are required to enter the cave, and only a limited number of researchers and explorers are allowed to visit each year. Number 4. Snake Island. A small island off the coast of Brazil, Snake Island, also known as Ilha da Quimada Grande, lies about 93 miles from Sao Paulo. The island is well renowned for having a high population of dangerous snakes, especially the rare golden lance head pit viper. The name of the island doesn't translate to Snake Island. Instead, it alludes to an effort to clear the island's forests by setting the island's vegetation on fire. Early in the 20th century, a massive forest fire was started on the island to make way for a banana plantation. Naturally, that was abandoned when the locals learned just how many lethal inhabitants already inhabited the island. With the exception of a small group of scientific researchers and the Brazilian Navy, access to Snake Island is strictly prohibited. The Brazilian government has designated the island as a protected wildlife reserve. Snake Island's snakes are unquestionably dangerous, but they are not more aggressive than snakes on the mainland. The island's isolation has contributed to the growth of the Golden Lance Head Pit Viper population, but it also means that the snakes have little available prey. As a result, they are generally calm and unlikely to attack others unless provoked or threatened. Number 3. Gates to Hell. The Gates of Hell is the common name given to a natural gas field in Turkmenistan's Karakum Desert, which has been burning for over four decades now. Locals gave it this name due to the intense flames and glow that are visible from a great distance at night. The fire started accidentally in 1971 when a drilling rig fell, creating a sizable crater and shattering the ground. Since then, the crater has been engulfed in flames that are approximately 230 feet in diameter and 98 feet deep, fueled by the nearby natural gas reserves. The flames are caused by the burning of methane gas, which is highly flammable and emits a strong odor. Due to high levels of heat and toxicity, the area around the Gates of Hell is completely devoid of vegetation and wildlife. The Gates of Hell has turned into a famous tourist destination in recent years, with visitors coming from all over the world to witness the spectacular display of flames and to camp near the crater at night. However, the area is hazardous, and visitors are advised to follow the guidelines set by the local authorities and take precautions to ensure their safety.
Number 2. Death Valley. Death Valley is a desert valley in eastern California, USA. It is known for its extreme heat and aridity, making it one of the driest and hottest places on the planet. The valley is located in the Mojave Desert and is the lowest point in North America, with a depth of 282 feet below sea level at the Badwater Basin. Due to its intense heat and aridity, which can easily cause dehydration, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke, the valley can be hazardous. The valley can get as hot as 49 degrees Celsius, which can be fatal for those who are unprepared for or unaccustomed to such temperatures. Visitors to the valley must be aware of the dangers of hiking and exploring in such an environment, and they should take precautions such as bringing plenty of water, wearing appropriate clothing and footwear, and staying on marked trails. Flash floods are another potential danger in Death Valley, particularly during the monsoon season in July and August. These floods can be sudden and powerful, and can carry debris and sediment that can be hazardous to hikers and motorists. Finally, keep in mind that Death Valley is a remote location with limited access to emergency services. Visitors to the valley should take appropriate safety precautions and remain aware of their surroundings and the potential risks associated with exploring such a rugged and unforgiving landscape. Number 1. Chernobyl Prepit City. The Chernobyl disaster is one of the worst nuclear accidents in history. It occurred on April 26, 1986, at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Pripyat City, Ukraine, which was then part of the Soviet Union. The disaster was caused by a combination of flawed reactor design and human error during a safety test. During the safety test, workers at the plant attempted to shut down the reactor, but an unexpected power surge occurred, causing a series of explosions and fires that released large amounts of radioactive material into the air. The explosion was so powerful that it blew the roof off the reactor building, exposing the reactor core to the open air. The explosion and subsequent fire released a cloud of radioactive particles into the atmosphere, which spread across much of Europe. The Soviet government initially tried to cover up the accident, but eventually, news of the disaster leaked out, and the full extent of the damage became known. Currently, Pripyat City is uninhabited, and a frequently visited place for tourists who are interested in seeing the deserted structures and the consequences of the catastrophe. Nevertheless, it is crucial to keep in mind that the zone is still significantly polluted with radiation, and guests must follow strict safety measures, and abstain from touching or consuming anything that might be contaminated. Thanks for watching.